Happy Friday! It really isn't Friday, but it's our Thursday, but it's our last day of this particular week with new work. So we're gonna say it's kind of like our Friday, but it's a happy Thursday. Um, before we get started with our read aloud, I have been really proud of you all this week, working hard, getting your lessons done. I know it's hard to be at home and away from um, your classmates, but I'm really proud of you guys for keeping up with your work and making sure that you are following the directions that I have been giving. Um, today during our class meeting, don't forget, it's going to be our fun Friday activity because it's the last one for this week, even though it's Thursday. Um, last week we decided it's going to be a crazy hat class meeting, so don't forget to put on your craziest hat to um, come live on our class meeting this afternoon. So take some time to think about what would be a silly hat for you to wear, um, and then we will also decide what our next Fun Friday activity will be for our um, class meeting. So have some ideas ready for me. Today, our last book for the week is called Rock and Roll Mole. Mole had a rock and roll soul. He woke up each morning yelling, let's rock this house. He wore a leather jacket, even in summer, and shades, even at night. And he could strut just like his idol, Mick Badger. At school, three chicks followed him around. They screamed, oh, Mole, in their tweety voices. Your jacket is so cool, his best friend Pig often told him. I love your shades, Raccoon always said. Oh yeah, Mole had style all right. When he was alone, he could strut, snarl, and play guitar like a legend. But the thought of performing in front of others made him shake in his shades. Pig was the only one who had ever heard him play. You're awesome, Pig said. You should play in front of the whole school. Mole didn't say anything. It was one thing to play in front of Pig, but the whole school? No way. Pig already had an idea, though. He wanted to put on a talent show. Raccoon could torch the crowd with his extreme skateboard stunts. The chicks would rip it up with their sweet songbird voices. Pig knew some smooth dance moves. He positively sizzled. And Mole, everybody knew what he should do. You'll rule the stage with your guitar, said Pig. Um, yeah, said Mole. I'll be platinum. Oh, Mole, you're really going to play for us? All three chicks fainted on the spot. But that night, Mole worried. He stared at his posters of Moo Too and Goose Springsteen. What if I'm no good, he wondered. But they were like just posters, so they couldn't answer him. The next morning, Mole got up early to practice. He tried strumming his guitar, but his paws shook. He tried strutting across his room, but his, wobble, or his legs wobbled. He tried screaming out a song, but his voice cracked. At school, the chicks cried, oh, mole, but he barely heard them. They swooned and he stepped right over them. Before he went to sleep that night, Mole stashed his leather jacket and his shades under his bed. He even took down his posters. I'm not going to do Pig's stupid show, he mumbled. I quit. The next day, Mole broke the news to Pig. Pig's tail uncurled. You have to do it. We've already told everyone. Mole shrugged. Sorry, he said. I just can't. Can you at least help me get everything ready? Pig asked. Okay, said Mole, but I'm not playing, no way. Mole and Pig worked on the show every day after school. They sold tickets to all the animals in town. I hope everything goes okay, Pig said. Just hang loose, Mole said. 
It'll be platinum, dude. But the night of the show, Pig was sweating more than usual. My iPod is broken. I don't have music. How am I supposed to dance? Mole looked at his best friend's worried face. He knew what he should do. I'll be right back, he said. Mole ran to his house and got his guitar. He put on his shades and his leather jacket. Just hang loose, he told himself. But when he pictured the audience, he started to shake. Then he thought of Pig and he gave himself a rattle. Finally, he was ready to roll. Pig's face brightened when he saw Mole. I knew you'd come through. From backstage, Mole and Pig watched until it was their turn. Let's give it up for Mole and Pig, cried Raccoon. Mole jumped onto the stage. He tried to swagger. He stumbled and then he fell. The audience stared. Mole stared back. I'm doomed, he thought. Hang loose, whispered Pig. Mole gulped. He took a deep breath. Then he sprang back up and struck a pose. Let's rock the house. Mole cranked. He burned. He scorched the stage with his fierce, funky sounds. Ooh, Mole, screamed the chicks. He played and sang like the supersonic, rubilicious rock star that he was. He strutted and snarled, ripped and roared, while Pig shimmied and shook his bad pink self. Everyone clapped and stomped and screamed when Mole and Pig took their bows. We really showed them who's boss, said Pig. Mole smiled. Pig, we were pure platinum. All right, my littles, I hope you guys have a great Thursday and I will see you this afternoon for our fun Friday class meeting wearing your best and silliest hats. Have a great day.